David Griffiths left behind the mountains of Snowdonia recently to spend a few days with me in Ontario. The first thing we did was head to Toronto's east side where we met up with local photographer Andy Stroke for a day of shooting. Absolutely fabulous. I, I'm having so much fun here. The only downside is that the light is coming up really quickly so you've got to really react to it. Nice sunrise, not quite as much color, but uh, we had some interesting clouds, some interesting color. What do you think? It was all over too soon, it went really quick. Um, and what I have to do is to adapt to how quickly the light changes. So when I look at cityscapes now, I'm not gonna be thinking, oh, you know, the guy's parked his camera, how difficult can that be? I yeah. just found out how difficult it can be. <laughs> yeah, well, things move fast. Yeah. yeah. They say that about cities. They do. The interesting thing is they keep building buildings, so the skyline keeps changing. Um, but after a while, it's the Toronto skyline. I've seen it. There's a risk with this shot that it's slightly unbalanced because you've got the weight of this tree in the foreground and on the other side of the image you've got the city skyline in the distance. But there's really not much you can do about it. But because we've got this really nice definition in the sky, you kind of get an L-shaped composition which compensates for the fact that it may be slightly unbalanced. And of course, there are times when there's nothing you can do about it. It's always gonna be unbalanced. Uh, but as an image, we've got this absolutely spectacular green moss on the rocks in the foreground, contrasting beautifully with this fabulous red maple. It was time to go and grab some breakfast before heading further east to find some more beaches.
The light was getting rather bright now, so we headed back towards the city for a change of pace, shooting on the boardwalk. I decided to practice my panning technique. This guy wasn't impressed. We've been on the go since, well, about five o'clock this morning, we got into, into the city and it was worth it because the weather has been fantastic. We got some really nice light at sunrise. We've spent the morning walking along the beaches, did a little bit of, I can't call it seascape, lakescape maybe. And we're just taking a bit of a break now. I think Dave's a bit tired because he only flew in from the UK yesterday and the old jet lag's kicking in. But I think we can, we can get a couple more hours out of him. The only problem is there's a bit of a storm coming. So we might just be able to get those couple of hours before the rain hits. And uh, we're not gonna stay out too late today because tomorrow morning we're up at three o'clock in the morning for a trip to Niagara Falls. Yeah, see, they're just taking a break now. Just, it's all, it's all too much. It's just all too much. So, a little break and then we're off again. Unfortunately, the storm hit us quickly. So it was time for plan B. I really liked plan B. The photography has been amazingly good, much better than I thought it would be. I have high expectations because of the sort of neck of the woods I live in. But Toronto, the, uh, the lake shore, the city skyline, uh, and the light, brilliant. Come here, you won't, be, you won't be sorry. Well, we've had a couple of beers, and now we're having a Pakistani meal, as you would. So it's been lovely, we've been having a great time. Um, we're looking forward to sleeping, of course, because tomorrow is going to be a really early start for Niagara Falls. See you then.